folks, welcome back. Thank you for watching. Please do hit subscribe if you haven't done so yet. It really does help when you do that. So today, folks, welcome to 2022. I hope you all had great New Year's. And to kick the year off on this channel, I've got a fantastic and very interesting amplifier to show you. And it's sat over my shoulder there. So today we have the Highlight Custom SD. Now, Highlight is a very interesting company because it has two very distinct and separate parts to its history. The first half started back in the mid 1960s because Highlight was the parent company that manufactured, amongst other things, high watt amplifiers. So all of those old classic Dave Reeves designed high watt amps, the DR103 and the 504, were made by Highlight. Now, for whatever reason, in the early 80s, I'm not sure why, Highlight stopped manufacturing High Watt, and that brand continued made by other people. But Highlight as a parent company, the name sat pretty much defunct from then until now. So when the company name expired, or the registration for it, in 2018, it was bought by a chap called Andre Nicola, who now manufactures amplifiers under the Highlight name based on those old classic Dave Reeves high watt circuits, but with some modern day tweaks to bring them into the 21st century and make them more fitting to the gigging guitarist in 2022. Now, as a little aside of how I was introduced to Andre, as many of you will know, I have this parts caster Strat here. I've made a video all about it, I'll link to it up there now, which I bought from a guitar shop in Denmark Street in London in 2012. Now, last year, or probably the year before now, I was doing some work for Fane Speakers, demoing some of their range, and I got a message from someone saying, did you buy that guitar from Denmark Street in 2012? And it turns out that Andre from Highlight built this guitar. So that's how I got chatting to him. And we've spoken for a while about me demoing one of his amplifiers. And as it turns out, this custom SD was in stock at a music shop not too far away from me, up in Siren Sester called the Skinny Dog Experience, which is a really cool place. It has like guitars, jewelry, and upcycled steampunk lamps. So it's a real mashup of things that shouldn't work together, but really do. It's a very cool shop. So please do check it out if you're in the West Country. So just before Christmas, I drove up to the Skinny Dog Experience and I brought this amplifier home to demo it. Now, the SD in the name stands for Shiny Diamond. So there's no big prizes for guessing whose tone this amp is ultimately shooting after. Because in the highlight range, um, Andre manufactures versions or his kind of interpretations of the DR-103 and the DR-504. And the SD is kind of a lower wattage version of the 504 circuit. So it has two EL84s in it rather than 34s because they sound fairly similar. They have that British voice, but 84s are usually used in lower wattage amps. So that's what's in here. And it's a premium hand-wired booty quality amp using top quality components. So it really is as good as you can get in a sort of lower wattage, high watt reproduction nowadays. So what I'm gonna to do today, folks, is primarily focus on putting some different guitars into this amp and cranking it up really, really loud to get it crunching. Now it does also have a half watt mode on it, which when you adjust the mic gain to kind of balance it all out, does sound very, very close to the full 20 watts. So you can bring it all the way down to like bedroom volume and still get the same sound. So it's a top quality attenuator that's in there. But when I'm demoing amplifiers, I usually try and avoid nowadays using effects pedals because most people just want to hear the amp absolutely screaming. But today at the end of the video, I'm also going to add a few Gilmore inspired effects pedals into the mix to show you how it takes pedals. So I have two Williams audio pedals, continuing the handmade in the UK theme. I've got the power driver, which is like a color sound overdriver power boost thing, and also a Ram's head Big Muff clone. Two pedals, as I said, associated with Gilmore. But I also have my kind of holy grail pedal, which is an original 1974 MXR Phase 90. So we might get a little bit shine on you crazy diamond towards the end. So first and foremost, I'm going to show you the difference between the amp running in 20 watt mode and the half watt mode, balancing the mics out in terms of gain so the levels are equivalent to show you just how good that attenuation circuit is. And then use some different guitars at different levels of gain to show you what this amp is capable of. Now, the original high watt guitar cabinets back in the sort of 60s and 70s were very over-engineered.
know, big bulky cabinets. So today I'm going to use my Zilla Fat Boy, which has a really thick, punchy sound to it. And high watt amps back in the day, and also high light nowadays, are very closely tied with Fain speakers. So in the Fat Boy, I've put my two favorite Fain speakers, the A60 Alnico and the F70 Ceramic, which really do pair beautifully with the high watt style circuit. So without further ado, folks, here we go. <laughs> Thank you. 
we are folks. Now please do comment underneath, let me know what you thought of the custom SD today. I love chatting nerdy guitar stuff with you folks down in the comment sections. Now that amp sounds absolutely wonderful, doesn't it? And knowing its heritage, the circuit it was kind of derived from, it really does nail that old school high watt sound at a lower wattage, which is exactly what it set out to achieve. Now that half watt mode that I showed you at the beginning, it really is a wonderful attenuator because without touching anything else on the amp, just going between those two modes and then kind of adjusting the mic gain to their equivalent volume, you really can get the cranked sound of this amp at bedroom volume. It's very, very impressive how it scales the power down without really adjusting the sound of the amp whatsoever. Now with all of the guitars I gave it today, it just seemed to work incredibly well because when it's running clean or cleanish, it's very punchy and transient. You hit the guitar, it just kind of smacks you in the forehead. But as you turn it up and it starts to gain up, it just fills out in a very sort of full bodied way. Now the mid range on this style of amplifier, it's very different to the kind of equivalent Marshall or Vox or orange sort of amps. It's very kind of scratchy in the mid-range in a very cool way. It doesn't have that upper mid-range sizzle of a Marshall or the thumpy lower mid-range of an orange. It's very distinct and kind of sits on its own in the tonal spectrum of amps whilst being very overtly British voiced. So hugely, hugely impressive. I think it took the pedals amazingly well. Using that old Phase 90 just kind of nails that shine on sound and giving it fuzzes as well, it just takes it, boosting it really loud with the um, Williams Audio Power Boost. I had the volume on that all the way up, mimicking what the original pedal would have done, because this one has a sort of attenuator into the volume is all the way up, hitting it with the drive. It just sounds godly sitting here in front of the amp. But being only 20 watts, don't get me wrong, it's loud, it's way more than bedroom volume in here, but it's not overbearing. You can get that cranked sound without absolutely destroying your eardrums, which the higher powered amps in the range would probably do in a room this size. So it really is a great amp for gigging, recording, practicing at bedroom volume if you want to. It's just phenomenal. So please do comment underneath, folks. I love talking to you guys, getting your thoughts and opinions down in the comment sections. But I'll be honest, it's gonna to hurt to give this amp back because I'm, I really, really love it. So thank you ever so much for watching, folks. I hope this video was interesting and useful for you. Go and check out Highlight Amplification. Very cool company, and Andre is a great chap to deal with. And I will see you very, very soon. Bye-bye.